so today we will be going over the or my predictions for the NFL standings for the 2024 to 2025 season. So we'll start in the AFC North, go to the AFC uh, East and the South and the West, and then we'll repeat that for the NFC. All right. So at number one in the AFC North, winning back-to-back titles out of the Baltimore Ravens. Uh, Lamar Jackson will keep doing his thing. The offense will keep rolling. And I think the defense will be just as well or just as good. Uh, and I think that they will finish with a 12-5 and record and win the AFC North for two consecutive years. At number two, I have the Cincinnati Bengals. Uh, they do improve. Unfortunately, cannot win the division. Uh, they will go 11-6. and six. They, Their schedule's in between. Um, they do have some tough games in there, um, but I do think that they will be able. Joe Burrow will be healthy. Everyone will be healthy. Uh, the offense will go back to their 2021-2022 role, and the defense, they're young, upcoming. I think that they perform really well and that they get it done. And number three, um, I have the Cleveland Browns going 10-7. and seven. Um, They will be good as well. I think Deshaun comes back. I don't think he gets injured. But I do think he has a great season. Um, and the offense, they improve. And then defense, Miles Garrett does his thing. Defense gets it done. And then tied for third, actually, um, is the Pittsburgh Steelers. I think 10-7. and seven. I think that um, Justin Fields and Russell Wilson are the guys. Um, not Justin Fields necessarily, but I do think that um, Russell Wilson as the starter will be able to get that done and um, produce for Pittsburgh. Unfortunately, it is not now in a playoff spot, but I do still think he has a very solid season, and the defense continues to play great. All right, and then moving on to the AFC East, I have the Dolphins coming back and winning the division at 11-6. and six. Tua doesn't have as good as a season, but he still has a great season. Terry continues to ball out. I think the running game slows down a little, but they still do great. And then the defense, they will continue to be solid. Um, Again, they do have some veterans in there, but they definitely are um, upcoming, kind of going back to being a young team. And then at second place in the AFC East, I have the Buffalo Bills. Um, They will go 10-7, and losing Stephon Diggs, Micah Hyde. I think they kind of lost Jordan Poyer and Gabe Davis in there as well. They also lost their center. Um, I don't I don't know his name, but I do think that they do not perform as well. But I do still think that they are able to sneak into the playoffs to be one of those sneaky teams that teams have to watch out for. Um, and then at number three, I have the New York Jets going six and eleven. Aaron Rodgers coming back from injury. I don't think that it's going to work out. I think he's going to be a bit overhyped. Um, and I don't think he's going to get it done for the Jets, to be honest. He'll probably get injured again. I don't know. <laughs> but I think it's definitely not going to work out for the Jets this year. Um, and the offense will s- still be solid with Garrett Wilson in there. I think Aaron Rodgers does have a solid year, but I think that. The team just can't get it done themselves. And then moving on to dead last. Congratulations to the New England Patriots. God, they're bad. Um, they will finish five and twelve. They do improve. Round of applause for the Patriots. Um, and I think that Drake May he's a solid rookie season, but again, just like Aaron Rodgers with the Jets, cannot get it done. Um, offense is still mediocre. And so is the defense. It's not looking good, Patriots. Um, at number one, Texans go back to back in the AFC South. They will finish with a record of eleven and six. CJ Stroud has an amazing year. I'm calling it right here. MVP CJ Stroud. And then Nico Collins continues the ball out. Stephon Diggs carries his talents to Houston and absolutely destroys Everyone. And then <laughs> at number two, I have the Jaguars going nine and eight. Uh, Trevor Lawrence has a solid season around. Uh, offense produces. Defense is a little shaky, but they still do well. They 
I don't think they'll make the playoffs. Maybe barely. I doubt it. So it's going nine and eight. But we'll see. Um, but yeah, Jaguars go nine and eight, second place for the second consecutive year. At third, I have the Colts. So why does everyone love the Colts? They always get overhyped, and then they just suck. <laughs> but I understand last year with Anthony Richardson thinking that they were going to be a great team, and they got hurt. Um, but I think they go 8-9. Um, that might be a little too many wins for them, but I decided to be generous. So 8-9 go the Colts. Um, offense is solid as usual. Defense is not dead last. The Tennessee Titans. Congratulations to the Titans. They go 6-11. and Playoffs are not the thing for the Titans. <laughs> At least the past few years it hasn't been. Um, they go 6-11. and Offense is not there. Uh, I think Will Levis does have a solid year, but he's not not going to be the best, obviously, for multiple reasons. Uh, defense, I think the defense improves, um, but still, nothing really special there. And I think they go 6-11. and 11. All right, moving on to the final AFC division. The AFC West. I think... Once again, shocker to everybody, the Chiefs win another freaking division title. Um, they will go twelve and five, very solid record. And I think, as usual, Patrick just obliterates literally everyone. He'll probably throw for like eight thousand yards and like six hundred and forty-two touchdowns and like no picks at at all. And he'll win his like forty-second MVP. And another Super Bowl, but I could be wrong. I don't know. The defense is always solid for um, the Chiefs. Chris Jones leading the way. Um, and they did seem to – actually, like, they played very well, that Tyron Matthew last year, um, which was a shocker to me, actually. But I do think that they continue to improve, get better. Xavier Worthy has a great season uh, for the Chiefs, and so does Isaiah Pacheco. And then, at number two, Broncos. This is actually very big. Um. Anyway, Broncos go nine and eight. Um, Bo Nix actually has a very solid season. Um, I know the record doesn't show it nine and eight. Um, but I do think that he actually defies some of the odds that many people put on him. Um, and that he actually plays very well um i think that the running game will definitely improve for denver it wasn't too strong last year but it definitely was okay uh defense will get better and i think that they all around nine and eight doesn't show but i do think denver has a solid year at three i have the raiders doing seven and ten i think many people had expectations that this team was going to be good last year they weren't they were not good. They did have some solid games, did show some potential, but it never really clicked. And I think that they do the same thing this year. They have a lot of adversity to get over, and I think that they do that. But I just don't think, once again, that they're not able to click on offense. Defense struggles as well. And dead last, the Chargers. Harwell's first year as an L.A. coach does not go well. They lost Mike Williams. They lost Keenan Allen. They lost Austin, Austin Eckler. And Justin is in a pit of burning flames right now. It's not, not looking good for the Chargers. <laughs> but hey, maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. We'll see. And now, moving on to the NFC. We're going to start in the NFC North. And repeat the same cycle that we did in the AFC. So. NFC North, I have the Lions winning the division back-to-back for the first time in franchise history. Clap it up for the Lions. Congratulations, Lions. Uh, they go 12-5, and five, same as last year. Play amazing. Jared Goff, I'm calling it hot take right now. Jared Goff is in the MVP conversation come February next year. I know it. Um, come on, roll balls out. Once again, he's going to be in the conversation for offensive player of the year. 
And I think the uniforms bring us some luck. Those uniforms are really nice, by the way. Uh, defense is going to ball out, and I think that Detroit is able to pull out another division title. Second place, the NFC North. God, I'm out of breath. I have the Green Bay Packers going 10-7. and seven. Jordan Love, solid season. Offense has a solid season. Uh, defense, they do have some holes they need to fix, but I think that they overall do have a solid performance uh, throughout the season. And I think that Green Bay does earn a playoff spot. Uh, they sneak in one of the teams you got to look out for. And then it, just missing the cut, Vikings go 8-9, and nine, losing Kirk. They don't know what they're going to do. They do have J.J. McCarthy. That is a solid first step. Um, to fixing that offense that is in shambles right now. Obviously, they don't have Adam Thielen. He left, I think, last year. He was a Panther. Justin Jefferson, obviously, still there. Um, but he is not happy right now. I mean, J.J. McCarthy is a solid um, addition, but it's just there's so many other holes, like, on the offensive line. Uh, Hawkinson's still there for tight end, so that's solid for them. And then defense is good. Um, they continue to have a good season like they did last year. And I think the Vikings just missed the cut going 8-9, third place in the NFC North. And then dead last, Chicago Bears. Uh, they will go 5-12. and Caleb Williams, I'm sorry. I think you do have some solid seasons down the road. But rookie season's always the hardest. I think that it's just not going to pan out. Uh, Bears do not play well. Offense struggles, especially with Caleb. And then defense, probably going to be just as mediocre as they have been the past few years. Uh, but 5-12, and 12, Chicago Bears. Moving on to the NFC East. Eagles bounce back. Go 12-5. and five, Win the division. And reclaim that throne from the Cowboys. And I think the um, Eagles offense continues to produce as they normally do. Defense just plays as well. And I think that that is why they were able to pan out just how they pan out. Going 12-5. and five. Again, offense is great as usual. Jalen Hurts back in the MVP, MVP conversation. Trying to bring it back out. Trying to bring it back home to Philly. And also, defense plays great. Jalen Carter plays great. Um, everyone else, exceptional on the defensive side. And the Eagles win another NFC East title. Number two in the NFC East would be the Dallas Cowboys going 10-7. and seven. They do decrease to 10-7 and seven this year. Offense slows down a little. Um, and then the defense will also be just as good. Michael Parsons, Trayvon Diggs do their normal thing ball out and get the Cowboys a playoff spot. And then at number three, it's a big fall off. I have the New York Giants going 6-11, and 11, taking a wide receiver. Maybe not the smartest pick in this situation. It's like Malik Navarro's from LSU. I don't think that that was the best decision. Um, I think that Daniel, Daniel Jones has another very crappy, mediocre, whatever you want to call it, season. Um, and that Malik Nevers does have a solid uh, receiving yards and touchdown-wise and catches, um, but it's just not enough for the many holes that the Giants have in their in their offensive lineup. And then the defense will continue to be solid with uh, Kayvon Theodore. I don't know how to say it. I think I'm not to say it right. Um, but anyway, 6-11 for the Giants. Missed the playoffs once again. And at dead last, in the NFC East, is the Commanders. They will go 5-12. and 12. I'm sorry, Commanders fans. You guys just can't figure out how to bring it home. They started 3-1 and one last year and just were actually garbage. Um, same thing this year, 5-12 and 12 season, not well, not good offense, 
cannot produce. I think Jaden Daniels is a solid, smart pick here. Um, but I don't. I, f- I have a feeling in my body that he's gonna battle with injury, and he's just not gonna pan out how they wanted him. I keep thinking RG three in my head. Um, he'll be a lot like him, possibly. But anyway, dead last in the NFC East, the Commanders went five and twelve. Moving on to the NFC South, we have the Buccaneers going eleven to six, eleven and six, um, winning. Once again, the NFC South, crappiest division in football. Um, Offense, Mike Evans, Baker Mayfield, all those guys continue to ball out. Defense is solid as well. And I think that this is, that's why they are able to produce, just like they did last year, get themselves another playoff spot, try and go get that ring. The Saints go 9-8. and Saints and the Falcons have been very similar. Um, They've... The rivals, but they have played very similar, very similar records and all that stuff. Um, but I think that they go nine and eight. They do not get themselves a playoff spot. Um, but I do think the offense, Chris Olave, they're average, and so is the defense. Um, and I think that's why they're they are they go nine and eight. Moving on, Falcons tie the Saints, going nine and eight. Uh, tie for second place in the division, and. I mean, just like the Saints. Offense is average. Again, Kirk Cousins. Uh, go check out my latest short. Um, I covered that. The Kirk Cousins, Michael Penix situation. Um, but I just don't understand it. Falcons offense, mediocre. Average. Say same with the defense. Again, they are very similar to the Saints. They will go 9-8 and eight as well. Panthers. Nobody is shocked by this. They go four and thirteen. Clap it up for the Panthers. They have improved. Congrats, Panthers. Y'all are still trash. Uh, Bryce Young continues his horrible stretch um, of just being actually garbage. Uh, I think he throws probably sixty interceptions, <laughs> uh, but he just doesn't have a good season. His he does have a few weapons, but really not anything special um but it's not looking good for the panthers once again a 4 and 13 season for the panthers i mean you're just in the rebuilding stage at this point bryce young is not the answer um i wouldn't be surprised if i see them go out and get a quarterback pass then next few years then defense obviously is going to be horrendous <laughs> i don't think they got to win till like week seven or eight so congrats to the panthers they're going four and thirteen, and they didn't prove, but that's a start, I guess. Um, and then the final division again, no shocker. Forty ers win another NFC West title. They hold the best record in the league. It's my prediction. They go thirteen and four. Um, demolish the NFC. I'm um, in the regular season. Just demolish everybody, really. I think their only obstacle would be the Bengals, the Chiefs, the mm, Ravens, Lions. Really just them. I mean, it's really not anybody. Brock Purdy has a great season. Offense continues to produce, just as they have been in the past few years. Same with the defense, playing great, locking up, no fly zone. And I think that they have a great season, going 13-4 and four and winning the NFC West. The number two out of the Rams going 10 and 7. It's like the same thing over and over. 49ers win. Rams going second. And then it's just. <laughs> but anyway, Rams go 10 and 7. Uh, do make the playoffs. I think they sneak in. Offense will be good. Cooper Cup will have a better year than he did last year, but I don't think it'll be anything really. Uh, Matthew Stafford continues to produce, having solid seasons. And defense, Tyron and Donald, I think that they do. Still, get it done. Um, that will be a big hole. Um, and I think that that may hold them back in the final few stretches of the season. But I still think that they do play well. And at number three, we have the Seahawks going nine and eight. Geno Smith has another solid, solid performance. Um, this next season, um, offense produces. So does the defense. Therefore, I would say nine and eight record. And they do not get themselves a playoff spot, in my prediction. I 
think they miss it by a game or two, I'd probably say. And dead last, Marvin Harrison Jr. Not the answer here. 6-11 and 11 dead last is the Arizona Cardinals. They do not produce, and they are not able to get it done. Um, I mean, the offense is struggling. Kyler keeps battling with injury, and I think the defense does not help them out. Uh, that's my standings, predictions for the 2024-2025 NFL season. Thank you. Remember to subscribe, like, share, comment.